you close the curtains on my face? Because you're trying to be a barber when you're supposed to be the king of crooners. Bah, crooners. My crooner days are over. Pork and I decided that a voice like mine is a gift, didn't we? Yeah. And from now on, I'm not going to sing nothing but opera. Well, there's not going to be any opera in this show. Well, I'm not going to be in the show. I quit. Come on, Pumpy. Hey, you can't do this to me. Where are you going? I'm going to take my voice where it will be appreciated. Me, me. Try that again. Why, it's preposterous. Thank you very much. You're not so bad yourself. Say, are you the boss? Why, yes. Pleased to meet you. Now, tell me the truth. Have you ever heard a voice like mine before? Why, no, come to think of it, I, I never have. I knew you'd like it. Do you want me singing in the next opera? I'm sorry, but I don't need you in this one. It's, it's all set. Well, then, when do you need me? Well, let's see. It's 3.22 now. Suppose you come back in 20 years. Well, say, will you put that in writing? Certainly. Miss Jones? Uh, yes, sir. Fix this young man up with a contract. Form PBX. <clears throat> Form the barber up. What do you want now? Say, as one singer to another, what's the best thing for me to do with my voice while I'm waiting? Give it a plenty rest. Keep it quiet. Thanks. I guess he means for me to get a lot of sleep. Yeah. Uh, your contract's ready. Find him. By your body banks and by your body banks, the sun will shine bright on the moment when me and my true love will never meet again. Body, body banks of the home. So you take the road, I'll take the road. Mm 
moment of my life. Maybe. Ah, my little friend, I'm glad to see you. But you are three minutes late. The people are waiting to hear you sing. Now let me have the contract, and I'll open the door to fame for you. Thank you. forget. You signed a contract. Sing. Yes, sir. Now, don't try any tricks. Remember, I'm always watching. Yes, sir. I'm the barber of the bill. I'm the barber of the bill. <laughs> so am I. Hey, you! Never mind about Club Spanky, get busy and sing! Yes, sir. I'm the barber of the bill. I'm the barber of the bill. I'm the barber of the bill. Figaro, Figaro. Thank you, sir. Why, Spanky? Hi, Alfalfa. I see you ended up just like I said you would. Sing it in the streets. Yeah, things hadn't been going so good with me. It looks like the years have been kind to you, Spanky. Oh, I've done all right. Come on in and I'll show you around. So, well. Come on, Corky. That's a bad idea with the time hungry. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Spanky. Good evening, Mr. Spanky. Oh, good evening, Mr. Why, the cup is a complete sellout in this place. Well, that's where it should be. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, may I recommend the peach ice cream with the jelly beans? It's very good, sir. I like a hamburger some onions. Bad it, too. We'll order later. Yes, sir. Well, how do you like my club? Not so much. Of all people. My, you look pretty. Oh, thank you. Will you people excuse me? I've got to go start the show. Oh, go well, right ahead. Thanks. Gee, you look rich. Diamonds and everything. Oh, yes, indeed. I think you would make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Good evening, folks. We opened our front show with a hot number led by that king of swing, Cam Buckley. Makes hundreds and thousands of dollars. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Listen, fellas, for old time's sake, I'll give you one more chance. Now, how'd you like to work for me again? Okay. How about you, Alfalfa? Oh, come on, Alfalfa. Croon just one song, and you'll make hundreds and thousands of dollars. I will not croon. Do you mean that you haven't given up opera yet? I'm a slave to my art. All right, then. Tell her, who thinks Bert can get him ready for... 
for the act. Come on, Porky. Slave to your act. <clears throat> We do my stuff. Listen, all you people, you better beware. Love's an epidemic, and it's in the air. It's a thing to get you, even though you're very smart. So take some good advice, go out and vaccinate your heart.
<laughs> You're supposed to be out in the street singing opera. Come. Wait a minute. I've changed my mind. I want a croon. Croon? <laughs> I have your contract to sing opera. Please let me go, please. <laughs> please let me go. Customers, and I'll come up to the school afterwards and see you. Well, maybe it wasn't such a hot idea after all. 
say, what was the idea of this idea anyhow? Well, you see, I was afraid we were going to lose Miss Crabtree during our vacation. Oh, you know, she might get married. Women do that every once in a while. My ma did. Hmm. My mammy married three times in a row. It's a habit with her. She might get a chicken bone in her throat or something. Be much worse if she kicked the bucket and curled up her toes and died.
chickens ain't so good today, kids. your teacher, Miss Crabtree, around? No, she went to city for lunch. Oh. Hey, Bud, I wonder who that guy is. Well, how do you like your teacher? We think she's swell. Ha-ha. <laughs> Say, can't you smile and do something? Come on, come on. <laughs> hey, you're a vicious little thing, you are. Betty's gonna marry Miss Crabtree. Come on, let's go see who he is. <laughs> Hi, mister. Hello, boys. Uh, what's on your mind? Hey, mister. The one thinking about marrying Miss Crabtree, was you? Married? Yeah. What put that in your head? We you know a lot of secrets about that woman. Secrets? About what woman? Miss Crabtree. Oh, yeah? What kind of secrets? Well, see that pretty skin she's got? Uh-huh. That ain't real. It's powder. Oh. That woman sure knows how to choke up. Well, this is surprising. Tell me some more. She puts red stuff in her lips. It comes in sticks like shaving soap. And she has two sets of false teeth and one wooden leg. And is she cranky? Boy, she sure has got a mean temperature. Yeah, and she's got seven husbands. Yeah, and 21 kids. Hey, mister, what's your name? Well, you tell her Jack. She'll understand. Guy's gonna marry her. That's just the way we lost Miss McGill, Cuddy. We gotta get rid of him. Yeah, but how? I don't know. Let's follow him, see where he goes. Look, he's going in swimming. I got it. Let's go get his crew. 
explodes and he can't come back. All right. We shall begin with an oral lesson in history. Everyone ready? Chubby Cheney. Who was Nathan Hale? Nathan Hale was an American patriot. That's right. In what manner did he give his life for his country? He was hanged. No, he was hanged. Oh, hanged. Farina. What were his last words before they hanged him? He said, uh... Brother, there's certainly going to be a lesson to me. Donald Haynes. Where is Washington? First in war. First in peace, and third in the American League. Douglas Greer. What was Abraham Lincoln's mother's name? Mrs. Lincoln. Are you children trying to be funny? Buddy O'Donnell. On Paul Revere's night ride, what did he say as he stopped his horse in front of the colonial home? He said, whoa! Somebody's in for a real trouncing. Bobby Mallon. What was Nero doing while Rome burned? Well, I don't know, but I think he should have been hauling water to the fire. Jackie Cooper. Who was the hunchback of Notre Dame. Blonde Cheney. What is this? Mary Ann Jackson. What famous words did Washington utter as he crossed the Delaware? I'm going to punish the next child severely that gives me a foolish answer. Farina. What was Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address? 1644 South Main Street. Oh! Olga! 
Robert, where did you get those answers? Out of this book. Did anyone see a nice-looking gentleman who was asking for me? I was expecting him this noon. He's my brother. Oh, whatever that stuff is, it's 
sure spoiled. Mm. Oh, you're cuckoo. I just like ice cream. Well, I sure did have a hard time getting them bags. How come? Oh, that old lady wouldn't get off the legs. Say, where's Spud? Oh, he ain't came yet. Oh, that man's gonna make us late. Come on, let's get going. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Chubby's in the rear. Hey, Chubby, come up front! 
you do if you did meet him? Oh, that bad I have just as much chance as this pork chop. You 
Oh! Oh! 